There was a drone and missile attack on the Krasnodar region of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. It is noted that coastal missile complex Neptune and Ukrainian kamikaze drones hit an oil base in Temryuksky region. As a result, there was an explosion, and three tanks full of fuel were on fire. Krasnodar Krai Governor Vinyamin Kondratyev said that UAVs attacked an oil depot in the Temryuksky district of Russia's Krasnodar Krai on the night of 30-31 May, causing a fire. Three tanks containing petroleum products were on fire. Kondratyev reported that the fire has been given a high complexity rating. There are injured oil depot employees receiving medical assistance. Other workers were evacuated. Kondratyev noted that a large-scale drone attack had been repelled in several Krasnodar Krai districts overnight. He reported that during the night, several municipalities in the region were subjected to a mass drone attack, but they were suppressed by air defense systems. In Novorossiysk, special services are conducting a survey of the area and searching for downed drones. General staff of Ukraine also reported about incident. It is noted that the damage to the oil terminal in the area of the port, Kavkaz, Krasnodar region of the Russian Federation, was caused by several missiles of Ukrainian coastal missile complex Neptune. The results of the objective control confirm the explosions at the aiming points. The accuracy of hitting targets is being investigated. The complex operation was carried out in coordination with other components of the defense forces of Ukraine. The attack UAVs of the defense forces hit another oil terminal in the territory of the Krasnodar territory. Modern and effective Russian air defenses again proved powerless against our missiles and unmanned systems and could not protect important facilities used for logistics and supply of the Russian army. Poland will buy hundreds of US-made GM-158 JASSM air-to-surface cruise missiles with a range of 1,000 km for its F-16 fighters in yet another effort to bolster its armed forces since Russia's invasion of neighboring Ukraine. Defense Minister Vladislav kosiniak kamish announced the signing of relevant agreement with the US on Tuesday. Today is the signing of a $735 million contract for the purchase of JSSMR air-to-surface missiles, which will be in service with the Polish Armed Forces, kosiniak kamish said at the contract signing ceremony, according to TVP Info Television. The long-range missiles will be supplied to Poland from 2026 to 2030. Poland signed a $735 million contract to acquire AGM-158B-2, AIM-120C-8 and AIM-9X missiles and related equipment when Polish President Andrzej Duda and Prime Minister Donald Tusk visited the U.S. on March 12. The deal was approved by the U.S. Congress in late March. Poland sent the order for the purchase of AGM-158B-2 JSSM cruise missiles to Washington for Polish Air Force's F-16 fighters in May 2023. It should be noted that Poland is spending around 4% of its gross domestic product on defense this year and last week announced an agreement with the US for the delivery of a $960 million airspace reconnaissance system to monitor the northeastern borders. As a result of a massive attack on Crimea on the night of May 30, seven targets were hit. As the ASTRA channel reports, citing informed sources, four boats, two ferries and a pilot boat were damaged or destroyed as a result of a night missile attack on Crimea. In addition, five people were injured. In addition to the pilot boat Maria, which sank as a result of damage received as a result of falling rocket debris, the ferry Conroe Trader and the ferry Avangard were damaged. The latter ran aground due to damage. One of the crew members, Roman Stas, was injured on the Conroe Trader Ferry, he is undergoing surgery right now. Four people were wounded on the Avangard. In addition, four transport landing boats Kansas 701 were damaged, the destruction of two of which was already reported to the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine. 
The main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine confirmed that on the night of May 30, two Russian boats were destroyed in the temporarily occupied Crimea. According to preliminary data, we are talking about high-speed transport and landing KS-701 Tuna. Let us remind you that it was previously reported that the boats were attacked near the village of Chernomorskoy, Epitoria region.